and I work my new name Assalamu alaikum everyone I'm Saman here your grammar teacher today we are going to study simple present tense uh, I already made a video on simple present tense in which I have discussed in detail how you form simple present tense what is the structure of a sentence what is the use how you are going to change verb according to the subject uh, in in very detail I have discussed this topic but here uh, in this video I'm just going to revise it again just a few uh, points I'm going to highlight the use and the structure but if you want to go in detail you can check uh, my video I'm going to share my link at the end of this video and in the description as well so you can check that video again uh, for the detailed um, study of simple present tense so let's start with it uh, simple present tense first we are going to see what is the use of it we use simple present tense when we talk about our actions or the things that we do every day it means that the things that is your daily routine or whatever you do daily uh, if you want to discuss that then you use simple present tense like uh, here you can see uh, a girl is playing with the ball so you will say she plays with with the ball or she plays football okay this is the daily routine of that girl that she every day she plays so uh, you are going to say that she plays football you brush your teeth daily so you are going to say he brushes his teeth daily you study every day this is the routine of yours that you study every day so you are you're going to say he studies every day so for the actions or the things that we do every day for them uh, to describe these actions or things we use simple present tense okay what are the things that you do every day what do you do every day i i take a shower eat breakfast brush my teeth make a bed go to school study go home do homework go to bed these are all the actions that you do daily okay so if you if you're describing about your own self you are telling about your own daily routine then you are going to say i take a shower you're not going to use s with the word you will just say i take a shower but if you um, if somebody else is describing daily routine a boy or a girl for a girl uh, you're she's going to say that uh, she takes a shower okay you're going to say that she takes a shower she eats breakfast she brushes her teeth she makes her bed she goes to school or same as the case with he he studies hard he goes home he does his homework he goes to bed so it means that when you talk about this singular subject he or she then you are going to use s with the word but when you talk about the plural subject or even i and you then you do not use s with the word so let's uh, go in detail see a simple present tense the verb changes with subject the thing i just uh, told you that if your subject is plural like here we i we are having i you we they we and they are plural we know uh, we already know that but i and you are singular but they are considered plural and all the rules of plural are, are applied to them okay i read every day i cannot say that i reads every day or you sings the song it will be wrong i read every day you sing the song we walk to school and they write in class they write in class so if your subject is plural then you do not use s with the word okay but if your subject is singular like he or she or is the or uh, there is any name on it then you use s with the word okay this is a simple table you can um, learn from this table that see i buy i read i think i come i eat with i we do not use s with the word then same as the case with you you do not use s with the word you buy you read you think you come you eat then with singular subjects he she and it we use s he buys she buys it buys same goes for he reads he thinks he comes and he eats these are singular subject just remember these things these three pronouns or uh, just uh, remember that uh, this that if your subject is singular he she it or any name of any person or a thing then you use s with the word and with plural we do not s uh, use s with the word as you can see in the table you buy you read you think you come you eat this is how you make simple present tense 
okay here are some of the examples uh, from which it will be very clear to you okay before discussing example i already told you about the structure of a sentence that first comes subject then comes word and then comes object so we are going to uh, follow the structure of a sentence in these examples as well we will see that what is subject what is word and what is object okay number first sentence is my son lives in london now here my son is singular subject lives is verb okay and london is object so my son is singular subject so i have used s with the verb my son lives in london she plays basketball she is singular play uh, so we are going to use s with the verb we will use plural verb okay there is subject verb agreement if you have learned this if you have uh, heard about this that there is subject verb agreement in which if your subject is singular then your verb will be plural it means that there will be s with the verb if your subject is uh, plural then your verb will be singular so, okay this is vice versa if subject singular verb plural if subject plural then verb singular it cannot be same you cannot uh, use singular subject with singular verb it will be wrong plural verb means that there will be s with the verb okay and singular verb uh, means that there is no s with the verb like she plays football he goes to football every day he is subject goes he is singular subject goes is verb with es and football is object he loves to play basketball he is subject loves his verb and play loves to play here we are having two verb one is the main verb uh, that comes in the sentence and this is to place infinitive verb okay so we are not going to use s with play we will use s with the main verb loves he loves to play football and always remember this that when you use verb after to then you do not use s with the verb okay this is infinitive verb and we do not use s uh, with the verb when we are having to with it to play it cannot be two plays okay he plays he loves to play basketball does he go to school now see this is the question statement so um, questions uh, will come uh, so the helping verb we will start the sentence with helping verb does he go to school it usually rains every day here now it is subject rains here it is used as a word okay and every day here here is object it smells very delicious in the kitchen now it is singular subject so we are using s with the verb smells very delicious in the kitchen kitchen is object george brushes her teeth uh, her teeth twice a day now here this is subject brushes is verb and teeth is object he gets up early every day he is subject gets up is verb singular subject takes a plural verb so gets up early every day here we don't have any object they speak english in usa they plural subject then singular verb speak and then english in usa is object so these are the examples of simple present tense so um, to remember simple present tense just keep one formula in your mind that if your subject is singular your verb will be plural if your uh, subject is plural then your verb will be singular this is the basic formula and most of the students they they, and they make mistake just have uh, just keep this thing in your mind that if s is used in with subject or it is plural then you will not use s with the verb okay that's how it will be easy for you to understand and if you want to go for more detail just watch my video i'm going to share that link at the end and uh, you can watch from uh, from there okay so this is the message of the day uh, don't judge each, each day by by the harvest you reap but the seeds that you plant okay if you have a hard day if you are struggling in your life uh, yet and you are you are doing your um, you are giving your maximum output then don't be um, disheartened that it's very difficult or you are not achieving your goal or you are uh, you are not having the success right now but always hope that inshallah one day you will see a plant that you you should see the seed that you are harvesting you should see that how much hard work you are putting and at the end you will get the result in the form of success but definitely it will take time it's not that uh, you just uh, 
harvest the seed or you uh, you get the plant in one day definitely it takes time so always uh, hope in allah and uh, you will achieve your target okay that's all for today thank you so much allah